Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more unboxing situations. Today we're going to be checking out this three-person tent from Arrow Go Go. So for this tent, it looks like the support beams are going to be inflated by air, which is built in, with a built-in pump rather. And this folds or carries about as small as a backpack. Looks like we have some instructions right on the top of the box. So go ahead and pause to read those at your convenience. And of course, what kind of box would this be if it didn't have some awesome descriptors on the back? So read those at your convenience as well. Additional specs. Shipping, by the way, was pretty fast and efficient with Amazon. No problem to that otter box. We opened it up using this Finch Stinger. Look at that. Link down below. Out of the box. This is what we're met with right here. We have our Aerial Go Go automatic inflatable Giga Tent. And Razzle Dazzle out of the packaging. And I gotta tell you, this is approximately the size of a small backpack. And feels pretty light, portable. We have a user guide right on the inside sewed into the bag, but we also have the, it would appear, the rain fly for the tent. And look at this, the tent itself, here it is. All right, I was looking for this bag right here. So this little one, this was rolled up inside the tent here, but inside of this bag is where you're going to find your tent stakes. Look at that. We also have a couple things of rope and our USB-C charger for charging the pump that is in the tent. Okay, so we're just going to take the USB-C and plug it in there and plug it into our power source. Let's go ahead and take a look at this user guide manual together. Go ahead and pause to read it at your convenience. I'll try to get you a shot like this one right here. Here's the next page, if you will. Before you, the great outdoors. Sands any leaves, no leaves though. We're still dealing with that. But right here, we have down a underlayment, if you will, for our Aerial Go Go three-person tent so we're just going and using a generic tarp for a little bit more protection on the aerial go-go we use an underlayment for all of our tents whenever we go camping all right so in the process of getting the tent all laid out here but one of the things we want to do is we want to make sure to go through and close these caps screw them closed because this is what's going to let the air out we want the air to go in all right we have the tent all laid out we have all the caps closed there's a total of three of them one two and three on this corner here does not have a cap because it has the pump I believe we want to do a long two second press to start this let's go ahead and do that see what happens together shall we It's like a one second brush. It's working though. Look at that. Let's do a little fast forward montage. What do you think people? Had to help it up a little bit there, but it looks like it's just about fully inflated. Look at this. This has taken less than five minutes. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it on to the uh, ground cover some more. Ooh, just pumped out some more. Look at that, it's pushing out right now. 
It's obviously a nice and lightweight tent. Let's get this all positioned here. Look at that, folks. Tent set up, and all you had to do was push a button. Pretty cool. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and stake it down. We're going to use some of that rope and attach it right here. Look at this. We've got an aerial go go tent inflated and set up. Let's do a little walk around. Notice we have our ropes attached and secured into the ground right there for a little extra support. So we have a total of eight guidelines to attach to our tent. Two up here, two down below. So one's down below on each side, and one's up top on each side. Pretty nice looking tent here. This will work just fine for three people. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, inside the tent, look at that. Got a little skylight action right there. It's pretty comfortable though, I have to say. Yeah, so it's just big enough, I think, for like a six foot person or so. But yeah, you can definitely get some room here on the side, room here on the other side. Yeah, I'd say you could definitely put a total of three adults in here. Got a nice cross ventilation. Really plenty of room in this little tent. So three person tent, I would definitely say it can fit three adults. As long as you're not over like, hey, you got like three six foot fives, we might have an issue, but three adults, six foot or under, no problemo. I like all the ventilation too. So we've got ventilation up here at the top and again on the sides, airflow. Look at this y'all, we're looking at the, ste the seams here, double stitching on those. Yeah, all right. Or double stitching. So in terms of height, uh, this tent does not have a lot of height to it, but it's okay. So here you can see I'm I'm kneeling. You know, I'm like 5'11". So you know you can kneel inside here. Again, it's gonna it's gonna work for adults. So included in the old aerial go-go, we have this awesome kind of like half rain fly. It's gonna fit right up there on that skylight area. Look at that. And keep that all secure from getting wet and rainy. Fits on there pretty good, actually. And you just go ahead and secure it around. We have four of these on the sides of which to secure it with. It's on there pretty good. All right, I'm gonna to attempt to show you how easily you can take off the cover here. It's gonna be like NASCAR pit crew. Are you ready? Set, go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, just gotta not trip over the tent here. Boom, oh my gosh, we got one. Boom, done, time. Woo, razzle dazzle. We have the full rain cover on now. We have taken off the uh, little one. Put on the full one. Let's take a walk around and check it out. We've got the Aerial Go-Go branding up front. We do have a nice zipper and then followed by some Velcro on this as well, which is awesome. And then our guidelines are gonna, we're gonna take the guidelines off and we're gonna replace them onto the rain fly. So we're gonna have two spots on each side, one up top and then one down below yonder. So two on the front on each side, and then two on the back on each side as well. Right up there and down there. And same, same nice zipper, Velcro on the back. Pretty nice rain cover. Now to get this rain cover to stay on without putting the guidelines on, you're just gonna go ahead and attach it right to the same spot where we uh, NASCAR removed the other one. Just gonna attach it right there. Four different spots, two on the front, two on the back. And then stake it down, it'll stay. So when we have the full, full uh, rain fly on, up top, if you go ahead and open this up, 
you're gonna be able to kind of keep this open to get some airflow. So you have this piece right here, which is a little bit stiffer, and then you're just gonna Velcro that in. And once we have that Velcro set up, there you go. So you can see that that keeps that open for a little extra ventilation, even in some rain. Awesome, Ariel Gogo. -Go. All right, we are now going to try deflation and storage. See if we can get it all back in the bag. But before we do any of that, make sure to check the link below to pick up your own Ariel Gogo -Go tent. Okie dokie then. So we have rain flies off. We have the ground lines pulled up, the stakes. Now we're just gonna go around and we're gonna go to our three different connectors. We're just gonna open them up, let that air out. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we will repeat that two more times. This tent's gonna be deflated like that. There you have it. Easy setup, easy takedown, fits three people, light and portable. Let's get it back in the bag. Okay, so it may not be in here as pretty as how it came, but we were able to get everything in this bag. Well, not the ground cover that didn't come with this, but we got the tent in here. We got both rain flies, the stakes, and the guidelines. Thanks for watching people, we really appreciate it. If you're new in town, consider subscribing. Till we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye-bye.